Hello everyone, welcome back to this video and today we have a very very interesting topic in our class because I did a research and I just compiled various lawyer subtribe vocabularies and I'm going to share with you today. So if this excites you, let's jump into it and just do it. Welcome back, my name is Doreen if you're new here and in this channel we learn about how to speak the Luya language and we also learn about their culture. So today with me I have a book here that I wrote down because I could not cram all of them and I hope I'm going to make it in terms of pronunciation because basically I only speak one Luya subtribe but I'll try to pronounce as they actually pronounce these words. So if you see me looking down I'll be reading because I didn't, I mean, I don't know how to speak these other lawyer subtypes. So if I make any mistake, please feel free to correct me in the comments down below. So these are the lawyer subtypes that I'll be doing. So we are comparing the words, the vocabularies against my Marachi lawyer subtype because that is what I talk and that is what I'm fluent in and that is what we actually learn most of the time on this channel. So we have the Marachi. We'll also be doing Bukusu. We'll be doing Wanga. Bukusu are found in Bungoma. We'll also be doing um, Wanga. Bukusu are found in Bungoma and part of Kakamega. So Wanga are found in Kakamega County. And then we'll also be doing Samia. Samia are found in Busia County. Oh, I forgot to mention. The Marachi are found in Busia County. So Busia County has Samia, Marachi, and Hayo. Okay. But of course, it also has tesos, but tesos are not lawyers. Tesos are nylots. They belong to a different, uh, totally different subtype. In fact, I don't even know why they live in the same county, guys. So we have Marachi, we have Bukusu, we have Wanga, we have Samia. Samia, again, they live in Busia County. We have Kisa. The Kisa live in Kakamega County. And we have the Nyala. The Nyala live in Kakamega County. We have the Hayo in Busia County and we have the Maragoli in Vihiga County. I mean, it's so interesting that I was even able to find the Maragoli because I usually feel that Maragolis are not lawyer. I mean, their lawyer is very, very different from other lawyers, other lawyer subtypes. But we are going to find out that today. So I have a long list here, but I'm only going to do only seven words given that it's a bit detailed. So guys, are you ready? In case I make a mistake, don't forget to correct me because I'm actually just trying to pronounce these words as well. So the first word, of course, we are pronouncing these words against the English word, given that, of course, I teach in English so that everybody can understand. Mother, mother. So how do the Marachi call mother? The Marachi call mother mama or mama. Mama or mama. That is how the Marachi call mama. The Bukusu, they call mother mai. Mai. Mai or mai. Kindly correct me if I my pronunciation is actually off. The Bukusu call mother mai. The Wanga call mother mama. 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 They don't call it mama. It is mama. So guys get the pronunciation right because this is very, very vital. If you go to Luya land where they speak a different Luya subtribe, they are able to tell from your pronunciation that you're actually a native or you're not. So Wanga is mama. Samia, they call mother mama. Mama. I don't know whether they call it mama too, but mama. That is Samia. Kisa. You know, Kisa, Kisa is the kind of like drug. My, some of my viewers told me that Kisa is, is kind of related to Marachi, my Marachi language. I don't know about that. I have a sister-in-law who is a Kisa and for her, she felt it was a bit different. I mean, she used to get confused every time because the words were just confusing. One word would mean this and in her language, totally different. So the Kisa, they call ma mother, mama, mama, or mama. The Kisa kind of they pull, mama. And then the Nyala, they call mama, 
my or my those are the nyala we call them avanyala the nyala the hayo who are also called abahayo they call mama the hayo they, they call mother mama or mama the maragoli they call mama i'm not really sure about this pronunciation mama so you can see across the um across the eight luya sub dialects of course we have more than we have around 17 to 20 sub dialects of the luya people so around eight that i have here we you realize that they most of them i mean 99 percent of them call mama they call mother mama apart from the bukuso who call, who refer to mother as my so you can see the relationship across the board so we are moving to the next one and it's getting very very interesting the next one is father father the next one is father so the marachi call father baba baba or baba so that is just uh, basically swahili swahili also called uh, swahili is the national language of kenya so that's the the marachi call father baba the bukusu call papa 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 and the Mai, Mai and the Papa, Mai and the Papa. I hope the pronoun because the pronunciation matters, guys. The Wanga refer to uh, their father, Papa. My mother is a Wanga, so I'm familiar with a little bit of a Wanga. So the, the the Wanga call father Papa, the Samia, Baba, Baba or Baba. So it is B and not P. The Kisa. Papa, Papa, Papa. The Nyala, Papa, Papa. Correct me if I'm wrong in pronunciation. The Hayo, Papa. The Maragoli, Baba. So you can see Baba is being used by Marachi, Samia, and Maragoli. So that is Baba. The rest are using Papa. One thing I've learned is that most Luya uh, communities refer to father as Papa. Very few of them use Baba. So for me, it's Baba. And that is why if I visit my uh, my mother's home and they say Baba, I mean, people look at me like, really, guys? It is P, not B. So, <laughs> so you really sometimes when we speak P, we kind of, when you, when you start speaking the real Swahili, now Baba, we kind of just say Papa, Papa na Mama. And that is why some of us have that accent of calling Baba is Swahili. So you just call Papa and life moves on. I mean, we are so used to calling that. Anyway, we are moving to the third word, which is the house. The house. The house is, in Marachi, is Inyumba. Inyumba, that is the Marachi. In Bukusu, the house is Enju. Enju. In Wanga, the house is Inzu. I hope you're getting the pronunciation. I'm really trying, guys. I'm really trying. The house is in Zoo in Wanga. In Samia, it is Enyumba. Enyumba, that is Samia. In Kisa, in Zoo. In Zoo. In Nyala, Inju. Inju. Nju, Nju, not Nzu, like the Kisa and the Wanga. In Hayo, it is Inzu. Inzu. Inzu, yes. In Nyal, in Hayo, it is Inzu. Inzu, not Inzu. Inzu is Wanga. Gosh. In Maragoli, it is Inyum, Inyumba. Inyumba. I don't know whether that pronunciation is okay, but Maragoli and Marachi, which is mine, we call um, house, we call Inyumba. The Samia call Inyumba. And the rest we have like Bukusu, Enju, Wanga, Inzu, the Nyala, Inju, the Hayo, Inzu, and the Samia, Enyumba. It's really interesting to get how different this is coming. And then we have medicine. Medicine, I mean the medicine that we take, like when you're sick, you're given medicine, okay? That one. So medicine, the Marachi call medicine Musala or Omusala. That is the Marachi. The Bukusu, they call medicine Kamalesi. Kamalesi, that is the Bukusu. Kamalesi, medicine. The Wanga, they refer to medicine as Omusala. Omusala, those are the Wanga. Then um, the Samia, they refer to medicine as Omusala. 
the same way. The kisa o musala the same way. The nyala amalesi amalesi that is the nyala. The hayo maresi maresi for us maresi will mean the clouds so you see how i mean different that is and then the maragoli theirs is theirs is totally different i mean really maragoli really i mean yeah but i just love the diversity in pronunciation the maragoli call medicine runyasi runyasi for us if we talk about runyasi in in marachi we would mean grass very small tiny grass that is runyasi <laughs> that is interesting and um the final word i'm going to do a second series of this but before i go to the final word if you're enjoying this video please don't forget give it a thumbs up right now give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on such amazing content so let's move on we have the head the head i mean the part of the body head the head the marachi call head murue or omurue omurue the marachi the bukusu refer to the head as kumurue kumurue the wanga they refer to the head as omurue omurue the samia they refer to the head as omutwe 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 the kisa they refer to the head as omurue omurue the nyala they refer to the head as omurue the hayo murue basically omurue as well and the maragoli mutui mutui so for us if we call, talk about mutui mutui is anas don't say it aloud but anyway that is how the maragoli refer to head so you can see the head we have a diversity we have omurue omutwe omutwe murue it's um, of course uh, it's different but we have some similar similarities in terms of spellings and words but there is a very small difference so basically most of the luya sub tribes can communicate they can communicate although there are some words that they'll mention that will be totally different so check up and see uh, correct me whether i made a mistake in terms of pronunciation but this has been very this video has been very interesting for me to shoot if you've not subscribed remember to subscribe and if you want to learn more about the real language remember to click this playlist here so that you can learn more and i'll see you in that video